Hello, my name is John Catalano, and I'm the brand manager for Stinger Electronics. Today I'd like to talk to you about the benefits of using Stinger's TruSpec wire versus copper cloud aluminum wire, or CCA. Through this video I'll explain what Stinger's TruSpec wire is and what copper cloud or aluminum wire is. I will also explain why you should avoid using CCA wire for any reason. Both CCA and aluminum wire perform the same, so for sake of clarity, I'll refer to both as CCA throughout this video. Let me first touch on the reasons we have power wire, then I'll explain the differences between the two. As we know, the purpose for power wire is to carry current from the battery or power supply to our amplifiers. The more power in, the more power out. To achieve this, you want to feed your amplifiers or other equipment all the power they need to produce clean output. If the power wire starves your amplifiers for power, it robs the amplifier's ability to accurately reproduce sound. It raises the operating temperature and increases the risk of amplifier failure from thermal or voltage problems. Not to mention it will increase the strain on your vehicle's electrical system, as the system works very inefficiently when it is power starved and will waste increasing amounts of power to heat. Let me try to better explain this with a good analogy, a river of water. The larger the river, the more the water can flow without overflowing the banks. This is the same general effect with wire. The larger the wire, the more current it can carry within its thermal limits. Now imagine there is debris and obstructions in the river, or resistance to water. This will reduce the amount of water that can flow, and if too much water tries to go down the river, the banks will overflow. In wire, electrical resistance has the same effect as the debris and obstructions. The more resistance, the lower the amount of current that can safely travel over the wire. The river banks are equal to the thermal limit of the wire. If you exceed the safe limits, the wire will get too hot from excess current. For a bit of visual confirmation, this is a video after all. I have a demo which will show how much power is wasted to heat when using CCA wire versus pure copper wire like what you found in Stinger's true spec wire. And even though the CCA wire is less expensive, it really isn't a bargain because you can easily use the next size down copper wire for the same or better performance. But before I get into that, let's start the demo. I've constructed a demonstration apparatus with some power wire, one CCA and one Stinger true spec wire. Both wires were pulled right out of a pre-wired kit, a competitor CCA kit and a Stinger HPM kit. Both are 8 gauge and both are 17 foot in length. I've not modified either kit other than spooling the wire to fit on the demo board. In line with the wire is a 125 amp resistor coil. I chose a 125 amp coil because I want to keep the coil energized for extended periods of time. And I want to show the limits of the wire and not the coil. To power the circuit, I'm using a 70 amp Stinger power supply. This ensures I will only be transferring 70 amps of current on the wire, which is the maximum recommended for a 17 foot run and 8 gauge wire. To test the wire, I have a touch free laser temperature gauge that I can quickly and accurately test the wire temperature of both wires as time passes. And with that out of the way, let me begin the test. To begin the demo, I'm going to take the ambient temperature of the wire before we begin the test. We're looking at about 72 degrees for the HPN and right around 72 degrees on the CCA wire. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power supply and we'll begin the test. I'm going to test the HPM wire. Around 100 degrees, 102 degrees, the peak really floating around 95, 98 degrees. I'm going to test the CCA wire. And we're at 185, 190 peak there. Floating around 100, 180 degrees or so. We'll give it the benefit of the doubt. We're already almost 100 degrees difference between the two wires, and we're only five minutes in now. So we're at about seven minutes in. The, if you can, I don't know if you can see this, but the CCA wire is starting to smoke. I'm going to go ahead and try to zoom in on this. The CCA wire is at the point of failure. And we're only seven minutes into this test.
The jacket is starting to smoke. The material is starting to get faulty. And if we go ahead and zoom in here on the, we're at a 215 degrees at a peak there. 220, oh, 242 degrees. I'm gonna go and shut this down before we have a fire. Now that I have shown you the consequences of using CCA wire, I have a little more info to share. I also have a photo of some 4 gauge wire in the same tests I just conducted, but this time it was photographed under an infrared camera. You'll notice the intense heat generated by the CCA wire under load. The load we use for the test is well within the operating range for the copper wire, but the CCA is showing it is close to failure and not a real choice for the installation of quality audio equipment, or any equipment for that matter. Now I'd like to give you a little more info on Stinger's power wire. I'll start with the construction of our true spec wire. We start with fine stranded, tinned copper wire. In a clockwise direction, we twist seven strands together to form a bundle. Then we take seven of these bundles and twist them together in a counterclockwise direction. This process is then repeated until we reach the specified gauge. The reason we twist in opposite directions is to increase the wire's flexibility. If we were to twist them all in the same direction, like most cables are constructed, they would be flexible in one direction and not the other. We've dubbed our cable design HyperTwist, and it is just one of the reasons that makes Stinger's power wire the superior choice for your system. To further increase flexibility, we've created a durable but soft jacket material. This jacket material not only protects the wire, but it also can contribute to the overall flexibility and installation ease. We chose a jacket material that was maximized in all aspects, in durability, flexibility, and installability. Our jacket material is matte finish, and the matte finish adds two features, increased flexibility, because the chemical composition needed to make the jacket shiny also increases its stiffness. Having a matte jacket decreases the stiffness. The jacket also has a slight texture. This texture allows for the wire to glide over surfaces, as it has less material that can touch at any one given time. Another aspect of Singer's power wire is what we call true spec. True spec refers to the fact that our wire meets full American wire gauge standards and is constructed of 99.9% .9 pure copper. We also go the extra step and tin plate our conductors to prevent oxidation. Oxidation will degrade the conductivity of the wire over time and we prevent this by tinning the conductors. Higher conductivity translates into better current transfer and less wasted power. And all these specifications translate into the best possible performance for your system. After all, isn't that the point? To get the best possible sound out of the equipment we spent our hard-earned money for. Either the true audiophile or the ground-pounding bass head. Singer Power Wire will deliver every bolt and amp we claim it will, and will do it for years to come. Please look for more technical and training videos on SingerElectronics.com. I'm John Catalano, and from all of us here at Stinger, thanks for watching.